Okay, so in this video, I am going to be running and trying to join the domain to my Windows Server 2019 with a teapot. So in the last one, I was installing teapot. So in this one, I'm going to try to do, uh, join the domain to it. And uh, right now, so my IP for the teapot is 172.16.58.132. And then colon 64294. So now all we have to do is go advanced. Proceed to this IP on safe, but it doesn't really matter. It's technically safe. And our username is going to be tsec and password. Whatever we entered when we were trying to install it. And you can go log in. And our server name is Industrial Pulley, as can be seen here, where it says Undu Industrial Pulley. But anyway, so right now we are logged into our uh, the name of this uh, uh, the way that T Teapot has set up for uh, like logging in. Yes, yeah, so the. Uh, administrative access uh, about if you go to help and then about web console it'll show you that the name of it is called cockpit which is an interactive linux server admin interface and uh, you can go to the project website but what i wanted to do was try to see if i can join domain so it says joining a domain a domain requires installation of real md so we'll try to re um uh, I'll fast forward this process so when it, once it's done I'll let you know what go what happens. So that only took about 20 seconds and all I need to do is press install here. Okay, so we need to enter our domain address from my um AD address it's a health factory dot local um OU I'm not sure I'm gonna have to figure this one out okay so I think I have it figured out um computer organizational unit uh, I put domain admins for now I'm, I'll probably changes to domain users if it doesn't work but, uh, administrator password and domain administrator name just administrator and the password for it and let's try pressing join and i think i'm not sure what i'm supposed to do on here but i will server manager in case i need it well, for now, we just wait. Okay, so it looks like it worked. Uh, I do have four services that have failed. Uh, if we check them out. Yeah, but I was thinking maybe I needed to do something about the domain user's properties. Like add a new user or something, but... I did I did it as admin so I'm not I'm not sure if I need to put anything else for the members but I'll have to I'll have to see okay so our networking failed and it looks like that's the only thing that failed and something in sockets. Yeah, for now it looks like I'll have to see on the Windows Server side if it really is connected to the um, domain. This uh, did being the new Linux 11 bullseye version for Industrial Pulley. I'll have to figure it out, but right now I think it's working. Okay, so I did figure out where the um, domain and it is right here 
zoom in and then it says health factory so if you click on it it says health factory local that's the domain name and it did connect so uh and we can also go ahead and leave domain but i'm gonna leave it as so and then it says active directory so we know it's connected to the windows server so yeah that's done um joining to the domain is working and now i guess in my next video i'll try to uh see see the idea i had about um honeybot and uh this teapot installation was that i would run honeybot in windows server and then teapot would obviously be running in the background and then i would also have like for example running my um Kali linux machine with a nisa scan and trying to penetrate the honey honey bot i mean honey pot while windows server in the background is logging so because it's uh, in the same domain but that'll be in another video but for now thank you for watching and please like subscribe add a comment whatever you want and thanks for watching